Now, the crookedness doesn't stop with Pelosi. It runs deep, deep in D.C. According to Peter Schweitzer's new book, Red Handed, that the speaker just mentioned, the Biden family received $31 million from shady business deals stuck with Chinese officials, all with ties to the highest level of the Communist Party's intelligence arm. Guess who directly greased every deal? Hunter. And these shady contracts weren't just glaring conflicts of interest. They were also threats to national security because the deals put Hunter in direct contact with associates of China's top spies and gave sketchy Chinese businessmen full access to the White House. They even got off the record meetings with the big guy. That's Joe Biden. And the Bidens can't plead plausible deniability anymore like they used to. They knew they were up to the shady stuff, which is why Hunter blocked his Secret Service detail from coming with them on these overseas trips. They're getting rich from our enemies on our dime. So what can be done? Here to break it all down, Peter Schweitzer, author of the new book, Red Handed. $31 million, a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And you're saying they got meetings with, with Joe Biden and, and there's espionage involved? What's the worst thing that stands out to you? Well, the worst thing that stands out to me is that every single deal that the Biden family got in China when Joe Biden was vice president um, was involving an individual who had links to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. Uh, one of the guys was business partners with a vice minister at the Ministry of State Security. This gentleman was in charge of recruiting foreigners to spy for China. Uh, another one was business partners with the family of the former minister of state security, which runs the entire spy apparatus. Uh, imagine a second, uh, Jesse, that we're talking about the Cold War and an American first family is doing deals with businessmen in the Soviet Union tied to the KGB. <laughs> Alarm bells would be going off. That's precisely what we're talking about here. Uh, and the fact, as you pointed out, that I raised in the book, that Hunter went to the Secret Service and said, I don't want you traveling with me when I go overseas, just raises a another level of question about precisely what was going on and do the Chinese, in fact, have leverage um, and are the Bidens compromised? It's a question we have to start asking now. Well, yeah, are they being blackmailed because of the financial entanglements with the Chinese communists and the intel chief? And maybe that's why they went so soft on the lab leak. You know, we're trying to recuperate reparations from the Chinese communists because they killed so many people. That's a huge issue right there that we need to really ask a lot of questions about. You also found out Nancy Pelosi, all of a sudden, you know, she changed her tune on China because she cut some deal with a limo company. Why don't you quickly explain what happened there? <laughs> Yeah, Nancy Pelosi used to be pretty anti-Chinese uh, Communist Party early in her career, and then her husband and son started seeking deals in Beijing. And it's interesting, you remember the last time China held the Olympics in 2008, um, Nancy Pelosi was in favor of a boycott, uh, and then lo and behold, her husband was partner in a couple of limousine companies <laughs> that got major contracts in China to ferry VIPs around the Olympics. And and Nancy Pelosi suddenly went from boycotting the Olympics to saying that she was opposed to a boycott uh, for the Olympics. Look, Nancy Pelosi's family has done a lot of business in China. Um, since the COVID outbreak, uh, she has refused to allow a single congressional hearing to even discuss the origins of the COVID virus. Why on earth would the Speaker of the House take that position? It's a great question. I just wish I was as uh, savvy as the Pelosi's. They seem to know what they're doing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peter. Everybody check out the book. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.